Good day. I'm going to talking about SR system today. As you know well, IMO regulations has been changed to tier 2 to tier 3. So we have to reduce NOx emission to meet IMO regulations. There are two ways to NOx reduction. One of them is exhaust gas recirculation and one of them is selective catalytic reduction. So we call this EGR and we call this SGR. So topic for today is SGR. My video will explain first SGR principle, second SGR operation, third SGR process. SCR system is available in a high pressure and a low pressure. So we have two types of SCR system. High pressure is HPSCR, low pressure is LPSCR. So what is differences? SCR system can be divided in two types according to their locations. HPSCR is located before turbocharger and LPSCR is located after turbocharger. As you can see in this picture, this is SCR system and this is turbocharger. Gas flow will be like this. So exhaust gas go to SCR system first before go to the turbocharger. How about the LPSCR? So this is SCR system. This is turbocharger. And gas flow will be like this. So pressure of exhaust gas has been decreased because the exhaust gas went to the turbocharger before the SCR system. Well, Next, SGR principle. As you know well, selective catalytic reduction is a method of exhaust gas treatment. NOx reduction is obtained by catalytic process. How to? The exhaust gas from engine after combustion goes to the SCR system, SCR reactor. Before go to the SCR reactor, we will have urea injection here. So NO, NO2 in exhaust gas and NH3 in urea will be vaporized and mixed here. These gas go to the SGR reactor so we can have a chemical reaction. Finally, we will have N2 and H2O as a result so we can have a NOx reduction. Chemical reaction in SGR reactor is occurred by catalyst. This is the catalyst in SCR reactor. Let's have a look. NOx from exhaust gas and NHC from rare. Go to the element catalyst and became H2O and N2. Next, SCR operation. Key parameter of SCR operation is exhaust gas temperature. Before go to the SCR system, the exhaust gas temperature is very really important to have a chemical reaction. Temperature for the chemical reaction is depends on the sulfur content in your pure. If 
your peer is below than 0.1% sulfur, then we have to have a 310 degrees of Celsius. Your exhaust gas temperature is too low to have a chemical reaction, then we will have sticky product we call ABS in your catalyst. On the other hand, if it's too high, then SO3 will be increased. If it's rich over 500 temperature, then catalyst will be changed to the center. Therefore, it is really important to have a proper temperature to avoid undesired chemical reaction. Main component and SCR process. You can see engine and SCR system. You could just guess flow to vaporizer mixer where urea injection takes place. So we just gas mixed vaporized via urea. Then this mixed gas go to the reactor, then we will have a chemical reaction. After that treatment, the gas go to the turbo charge. More details about SCR process. During the tier 2 mode, the conventional engine, exhaust gas, go to the exhaust gas receiver and turbo charger. This is tier 2. And when we change over to tier 3, you just gas go to gas receiver and go to the vaporizer where we have urea injection. Then this mixed gas go to the SCR reactor. After chemical reaction, the gas go to the turbocharger. So gas flow will be like this. We have valves for SR system. IVB reactor bypass valve, RSB reactor ceiling valve, and ITB reactor throttle valve. Tier 2 mode only IVB reactor bypass valve will be open and gas flow will be like this. And tier 3 board, RBB valve will be closed and RSV, ITB will be open. Then gas flow will be like this. Actually, we have one more valve here, CBB valve. We need to open CBB valve at lower load such as 25-50% load because we don't have enough temperature to have a chemical reaction so we need to increase the exhaust gas temperature by opening CBB valve. When we open CBB valve, the pressure of scavenged air will be decreased. Then we will have a higher temperature of you just guess after combustion. This is all I prepared for today. Thank you for your attention and I hope to see you again. Thank you.